This area of New South Wales actually has one of the worst mammal extinction rates in the country. We've looked at what are the species that used to exist here and no longer exist here that are endangered throughout Australia and locally extinct and over the years have developed a program to, um, to reintroduce those species to this area. So far we've reintroduced six species and at the moment what we're focusing on is actually monitoring those populations. Stage one is an area of 4,000 hectares around which we've erected a feral proof fence and then we've got rid of all the feral cats, foxes, rabbits that were inside that fence. That's the area into which we've reintroduced the threatened animals that are locally, regionally extinct and they're thriving there. We're actually trapping the animals every three months and because you've actually got the animal in the hand at that point you can weigh it, you can measure its foot length, you can see if they're reproducing. You know, We check their eyes and their mouth and their coat condition and look for any parasites they might have and just generally feel what condition they're in. Because we do it so regularly it means that we get a really good picture of how many animals we've got, whether they're breeding, how long they're surviving, what mortality rates are, whether young are surviving to independence. Government supports the work of AWC and other organisations through things like the National Reserve System. So being able to demonstrate that we understand what are the conservation objectives we're trying to achieve and that we are in fact making progress towards those objectives and you can see it on the ground, that's all really important. Being able to look after or have a population that's protected from the threatening processes that are causing those widespread decline, you can't really put a value on it.